What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. Is the Patriot Act still alive and well? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. I'm sure it's changed. Yeah, but, definitely. And again, I'm a fan, right? Because here's the thing. We create lots of noise. Bad guys love to hide in the noise. If you don't, if you don't suck up the noise and then try to find the signals that are buried inside it, then bad shit happens. Mm. You can't just ignore the fact that bad people are hiding in good places. You can't just ignore it. You have to go into it and you have to collect. It's the thing we never hear about anyone getting, getting caught under the Patriot Act. I don't think you, you don't hear about it. I don't exactly. Think you will. Yeah, I don't think you will. Um, that court's not public. <laughs> I mean, bottom line is if, if you're a terrorist or you're not, you shouldn't be offended either way. If you're a bear, be a grizzly yeah, on right. both sides. Period. You got to keep in mind that whenever, whenever you have a success in law enforcement or a success in intel, when you publicize that success, you're sending a message about your methods and your sources uh. to the other criminals who are out there doing it. Yeah. So if you got five terrorist cells operating in five different cities, and then you arrest one of them in San Antonio, and then you publicize the case in San Antonio, the other four cells are like, oh shit, he probably got caught because he made the wrong phone call or he did this with his housing records or whatever else. So then they clean that part up of their operation and you run the risk of not being able to shut down the other four. It's better to not, what's, what's the point? When you're a true public servant, you don't do it for the praise. You don't do it for recognition from the American public. You do it because you're keeping your country safe. You don't need such anybody's a, approval. Such a good point. It's amazing all the things that changed permanently in this country because of Islamic terrorism. And yeah. it's one thing you don't hear about anymore. Nobody in the media, mm -hmm. nobody in politics talks about Islamic ter terrorism anymore. Yet we still have the Patriot Act. We still have airport security. You still have Islamic TS terrorism. TSA. You still have yeah, extremist yeah, yeah, yeah. terrorism. Yeah. I'm, we're saying they don't talk about it oh, as yeah. much anymore. Yeah, we've, it's because of the emergency powers, right? They, they take their powers from emergencies and those powers never go away. You know what it is? It's, it's, to borrow a phrase from my friend, from my friend Redi, Remy Adeleke, he, he said something like, there's the pill in the cake. And so I'm trying to look at this from both perspectives now because I, I see where you guys are coming from and I'm not saying I agree. I'm also, I'm really like punting this one. I'm not saying I disagree. This is a really tough one for me. I'm looking at the other side, the people listening right now who may be arguing like my rights, my privacy, and I hear that as well. And I say, when you talk about things and use words like to protect us, your safety to live, that's the cake. And then the pill you put in the cake so that the kid eats the fucking pill is you say, this is what we got to do to do it. But no worries. I don't care about you know, whether you're cheating on your wife or not when I find it. And you know what? As And I've said this to you on a podcast before directly, Jim. I believe you. I don't think either of you care about that. I think you I, I think you guys are good guys. You guys are my friends off, off camera and I value that a lot. But like, I also know these are big organizations. And when you give these powers, you give them to everyone when you set that precedent. So all it takes is that one guy who's a total fucking jerk off to take advantage of this stuff. And I'm not saying he'd care about like whether some asshole's cheating on his wife. I'm thinking we could think of better examples than that. But then you have things that veer into, all right, we are just openly accepting that the constitution is being trampled on. I think that's a little bit of an extreme take accepting that the constitution is being trampled on. Trampled's a strong word, but the constitution is at least being violated. In, that's a better word. In what way? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm losing it. Yeah, the 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 ability when you give the government the ability to say, "Let me get a twofer for this," if I were to come across it, which the Constitution is supposed to say well, you don't. Well, the I mean, Constitution does not say that you're allowed to do a crime as long as you're not caught. No, it's but it does say you have the right to privacy, and I'm going to mess up some words, so let's not go too deep. And that if there is if there are crimes that are discovered as a result of a violation of these rights that is anti-constitutional. So, so it does say look, that. Let's look at it this way. If, if law enforcement took my phone with no subpoena or nothing else and started just scrolling through it and taking notes, all right, uh, he did steal two grand here, did steal, and then, okay, thank you so much, sir, and then, and then went out and fucking charged it, that's that's a different story. Violation of privacy. Absolutely. But, okay. but if I come in and I, I know that you use your phone in order to run... You know, a heroin ring, sales ring, 
right? And I say, here it is, and here's the proof because we've got six sources that have bought from you, yeah. including an undercover cop. Here it is, right? And okay, no worries. That that subpoena will be scoped out to that piece. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. if during that course I'm looking through and I'm like, holy shit, this guy's going to kill his mother tomorrow, right? I am. You're not. At, at you're not. Point, you have no constitutional protection. Yeah, I'm going to go and go back to the judge and say, we. Your Honor, we have to increase the scope here because this is what I found. Then it gives me the opportunity yeah. to, to look at that, gain my independent corroboration based on that, right? Build another investigation. Sure, he's a drug dealer. He's not predicated to have committed murder. But now there's a statement in there knowing that I have the obligation to do that. No violation of Fourth Amendment because I went through the process. But I stop everything at that point. I don't I don't say, you motherfucker, I'm going to interrogate yep, you. I'm okay. killing your mother tomorrow. That's people right? don't understand the due process. It's, it's very strict. It's very stringent. You the, know, it truly is. The thing that protects you is not the Constitution. The thing that protects you is the due process. The Absolutely. fact that when, when he sees evidence on your phone that makes him think you're going to kill your mother or your mother-in-law, he then begins a new process to corroborate independently and confirm whether that is true or not and that you get put in front of a panel of your peers for a judgment for that. And, and, and you planning to kill your mother isn't even a crime. It's just, it's the, it's the possible premeditated uh, effort of, right? So it has to be investigated, it has to be pursued, it has to be. Because if we don't, we're actually violating the constitutional rights of the mother-in-law who's Absolutely. trusting us to protect her. And I'm Mirandizing you. So the first thing I'm saying is, look, don't, I, I'm, I'm me personally, and probably most that we know, don't say anything. Don't, don't talk. You know, I want you to have this right mm -hmm. under the sixth amendment for counsel, right? So I'm going to Mirandize you towards that. You've already, I've already shown you all I need to know on this portion of gaining the information. The heroin ring. We're good. Yeah. And I'm and I'm going to arrest process. you for that, but I'm going to Mirandize you when I put the cuffs on. This one here is different. This one here is different. Listen, shut your mouth. Call your lawyer. And then we're going to run through the pro we're going to secure the, you know, all the things we would go through naturally processed. But should I just start pursuing that that potential murder for hire or what we're losing that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need it's going away. To, I'm gonna need to listen to this back afterwards to make sure I have it all straight. Yeah. You may have convinced me on the San Bernardino one. You might have because we know he did what he did. Correct. You might have convinced me on that. What about applying it though to something like not what Snowden did leaking out that's a separate conversation, but the thing he leaked, which is Stellar Wind, which just said using some provisions of the Patriot Act and then also some of the stuff we talked about earlier, like when Comey went in the hospital with Ashcroft and they were using like underground stuff. That provisioned the government to look through any cell records of anybody. That is good. Because where are the bad guys hiding? Among the good people. You're not, gonna find, the cake. you're not going to find the, the bad guy doing bad things unless you look at all the data, right? That's the thing. And the Snowden invest, the, all the Snowden stuff, that was contentious even in NSA. That was contentious even in secret courts. They couldn't figure it out. And let's not forget yeah. where we were in time. We were still reeling from the deaths of 9-11. It was contentious. Nobody, it wasn't clear cut. Nobody knew for sure what was going on. It was untapped. It was un, un, uh, unknown force for everybody, right? We were all figuring our new. way out. Yeah. It was new. Right? So like, did Snowden do the right thing, the wrong thing? I'm kind of tired of even people asking that question because you're taking it out of context. I'm not. You're not. You're not. I'm Most not people out there, every fucking person out there who thinks that Snowden did the right thing is completely blind to the context of the time. At the context of the time, America was terrified that thousands more people would be killed in a mass attack that could have been prevented. 2,997 people died in, on American soil in less than 24 hours. Yep. Think about that number, dude. Do you know how many people died in all of the global war on terrorism? I think 7,000. Yeah. yeah. So... Just a little bit more than a half. One, more than a third yep. of all the deaths in all 22 years of the global war on terrorism happened in 24 hours in New York. Yeah. Right? That's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm.
Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.